I was like a little punk kid. That's not something that goes away. It's not a haircut or something. It's a lifestyle. Now, some people would say that punk was invented by some art school kids like Vivian Westwood and Malcolm McLaren. But for me, it was the early 80s in Spokane, Washington, where I grew up fully embodied in like a whole gender. I couldn't go anywhere without like a ring on each finger. Uh, the first time I pierced my nose, I was 12 with one of my mom's like diamond studs. And as far as like style, I'm wearing exactly what I was wearing. I'm like really happy about that. Yeah, I found these creepers and I'm like, those are the one. It's not the, the creeper didn't used to like tie. It always buckled. I'm like, where, why did they change that? I want that. And then I found these in a secondhand shop in San Francisco while on tour with the knife. And I was like, yes, they fit. And I was like, yay. Oh, cool, these are from the 90s. When I bought them, they were the first earrings I used to like stretch my lobes. And then the sweater is Vivian Westwood, but it has these really fun little rubber penis buttons on it. They're like very malleable penis with balls. My hat, my friend Neon Music, is a milliner and has a hat line called Trivial. He made me this hat for my birthday. I love hats, I'm always wearing hats. Second hand leather stretch leggings. I was aware that I just wasn't like stereotypical femme female. My voice was lower, my arms were really, I don't want to say built, but the, you know, it's just like naturally like my body was structure, so I was really like self-conscious about yeah. it. It wasn't something I was embracing as a teenager because teenagers are awkward and cruel. I don't think that there's a lot of positive imagery out there, but for me, it wasn't like my mom was like, you know, you don't have to try to be those women, like be yourself. It was me being like, I am so depressed. I have to stop looking at this stuff. So I just stopped looking at magazines because I was like, I'm not white, I'm not 6'1", I'm never gonna be, I'm not like this, this body shape, whatever, da da da, unrealistic, right. photoshopped right. thing. All this music that I grew up with, listening to, dancing to, loving, like helped me through so many, you know, so much darkness of growing up as a teenager and feeling outside of the norm and like not wanting to conform and stuff. Why would I make anything else? I mean, I'm an artist and I'm a performer, so I, you know, can't really perform without an audience, but at the same time, I just like hope that they like it, you know, and, or don't like it as long as um, people feel something. I just want to make art that people can feel.